uh, good day or today magkatunta how to do operations and function. So I am going to be doing this a combination of Cebuano dialect at the same time English para at least masabdan sa kasagaran sa tanan. So let's start with um, operations of function. How to operate functions guys. Again, um, when you operate function, we are talking about adding them, um, doing subtraction, minus, uh, mag-multiply ta, mag-divide ta. And then, um, of course, you need to have at least two functions. Dapat na dyan at least two functions para maporma ni mo ang operation. So, mag-start ta og add. When you say add, is sum na to ang duha ka function. So, let's let's assume our fu first function kay f of x equals, let's say, 2x plus 4. And our second function, guys, is g of x equals 3x minus 2. Sige. Let's take a look at adding the two functions. So, when we add two functions, guys, this is very easy. Just add the two functions. So, this is equal to 2x plus 4. This is the first function represented by f of x. And then you add it because we're looking at the sum money. The second function which is 3x minus 2. Yeah. And then you can combine like terms na. Remember guys, nga, if mag-combine mo like terms, guys, especially if naagani variable or mga letters, ang inyar gong pwede mag-combine ano is katura mga variables na ay same exponent. Naka-notice mo ang x diri, kaning x nga tupad sa 2 at the same time kaning x nga tupad sa 3. Using uh, na ay imaginary nga wonder ang exponent. So this would give you a clue or a hint nga kanang 2x o 3x kay pwede rin makombine. So let's combine them. Kung so on man, add the coefficients, I mean to say the numerical coefficients. When we say numerical coefficients, maoni ang number nga tupad sa variable. So, add the two numbers which are 2 and 3. We have 5 because 2 plus 3 is 5. And then you just copy the x. Or whatever variable nga makita ni mo liya sa given. And then you add the two co constants which are 4 and negative 2. What is 4 minus 2? It's positive 2. Yeah. In other words, one yung answer when you add the two functions, 2x plus 4 plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 5x plus 2. Diba? Easy ra kaayo. You don't even have to to worry about it. The only thing that you're going to do, guys, or to remember is uh, the thing or the, the rule in adding or combining terms. So let's take a look at what if atom is subtract and to have a function. f of x minus g of x. Then you should twist, guys. After you write the first function as the I think it's minuend. The minuend there is 2x plus 4 minus, whenever you write the, the second function, always make sure to place all the terms inside the parenthesis. So what are the terms inside the parenthesis for the second function? It is 3x minus 2. And when it comes to subtraction of function, you always place the terms of the second function or the following function or the preceding function inside the parenthesis. So, my tabo ani guys is 3x minus 2. And then you simplify. We have 2x plus 4. Ang kaning negative or kaning minus ng operation, you need, to, you need to distribute this minus or subtraction to the terms inside the parenthesis. So we have negative times 3x, we have negative 3x. Tama, no? And then negative times negative 2, we have positive 2. Because when you multiply both negative terms or numbers, the answer is always positive. So take note of that. After Anna, guys, same rule, we combine like terms. If na ay combine, if wala gani, you say as is. Don't make things complicated. So the, the, the terms that we can combine here are 2x and negative 3. What is 2 minus 3? It's negative 1. And then and then just copy x. So we have negative x. And then what is 4 plus 2? It's 6. Alright, so there you go. It's easy. You already have your answer for the uh, subtraction. Now let's take a look at uh, doing multiplication. 
So when we multiply a function, guys, it would be like this. It's a shaded dot. You just have to multiply these two functions. If you notice, these two functions are binomial. When you say binomial, these are like function or expression nga duhara ka buok ang term. So we have first term here, second term. So you have two terms now. Same thing with the g of x put. You only have two terms now. Okay? So let's try to multiply these two functions to, te to, to get the product. So you have 2x plus 4, right? And also we have 3x minus 2. And in this case, we're going to take the FOIL method. FOIL method, I hope you guys are familiar with this. FOIL method, or F stands for first terms. O stands for outer terms. I stands for inner terms. And L stands for last terms. So let's start. What is 2x times 3x? We have 6x squared. What is 2x times negative 2? We have negative 4x. Okay. And what is... What is 4 times 3x? We have 12x. And lastly, we have 4 times negative 2. We have what? Negative 8. And you just combine like terms. So the terms that we can combine here, oh, I'm sorry. This one, this should be the result of 4 times 3. This should be 12x. So there should be x there. So this one, um, copy the, the result, let me erase this equal sign here, and then there. Copy the result and combine like terms. Unsa may mga term nga combine here. These are negative 4x and 12x. So what is negative 4x and 12x? If unlike sign sila, delete sila pareha of sign, you subtract them and then copy the sign of the larger number. So what is 4 minus 12? That is 8. Copy the sign of the larger number, in this case 12. So we are going to have positive 8x minus 8. There you go. You just got your um, product of the two functions. Next, let's take a look at um, the quotient or doing division. So the notation should be, look, uh, should be like this f of x over g of x okay so what's your f of x it's 2x plus 4 and your g of x is 3x minus 2 tricky initial sometimes guys because um i know you guys hoping that kaibamo is a factor factoring is very important if quotient because namagui times guys nga when Kung mag-factor ta sa numerator, at the same time, mag-factor ta sa denominator, we can cancel out something. And in that, ma-reduce na po ang fraction form. However, in this case, sa numerator, though na ating ma-factor sa numerator, which is 2, pero wala tayong ma-factor sa denominator. When I say factor, we don't have a GCF. Greatest common factor for both numerator and denominator. So technically, wala gita yung ma-cancel. So our answer should be this one. So what if, what if natay example nga can be factored? So let's take a look at, let's say our function is 2x plus 4. Mga natong first function and our second function, it's let's say, I'm going to change it to, um, let's say 4x minus 8. So let's try to get the, the quotient. Or let's divide the two functions. So f of x over g of x equals 2x plus 4 over 4x minus 8, right? Now, what can be or what would be the GCF of the numerator, the greatest common factor of the numerator? The greatest common factor of the numerator, I'm just going to write it here, is 2, right? And then x plus 2. Over the greatest common factor of the denominator is 4. So we're going to do 4 times x minus 2. Right? 
So, na na tayo cancel Which one na itong makancel man? The two and four. We can cancel this out. Pero na apay to mahabilin din. So, technically, the final answer is x plus 2 over 2 times x minus 2. One ang gingon ganiha nga. Um, tricky sometimes ang getting of quotient because you need to check if na ma mafactor and after that, na ma makancel. If wala gani, then stay as us. So, I hope you master how to do or how to process the greatest common factor ha huh? okay good so we're done with the four operations of functions let's take a look at what's gonna be the composite functions so let me erase everything here first let me erase all the all the um, things that i wrote here i hope guys i am understandable masabdan rako sige um, just give me a minute before I'll proceed. So I'm gonna erase everything here. Uh, all right. Uh, almost done. There. Okay. So na erase it tonight. Uh, when we say composite function, guys, it's like this. F of x. Instead of shaded, we're going to be using a hollow dot or hollow circle. This notation is simply the same as like this. Alright, same or not sila. And also the same po na siya aning a form. Ha? Ayaw mo kalibog if you can see like that. So, but some of you might be confused kay, oh no, na on yun no, kay nyo siya treat as multiplication, no. You need to really be careful. You need to really double check if it's going to be a hollow or not. Most of the time, if it's hollow, it's going to be composite function. Okay? If it's shaded, it's going to be multiplication. So let's take a look at how to do it. It's very easy, guys. You take a look at the first function being written. Kanisha. Kani f of x, f function, and f function. Ang pasabot ani, guys, is that whatever terms na you have in your g of x, you use that to replace the variable in the f of x. So let's, ato hinay na yun ha. These are my terms nga naa sa ang g of x. These are 3x minus 2. So money from the g of x. Tama? Gamita ni 3x minus 2 to substitute the value or to, to substitute sa x nga variable sa function nga f of x. Okay? So, ang may tabuan ni, guys, is ako, dyan, ako lang yung gamitin ka ni notation. Ang may tabuan ni is f of g of x na, no? equals 2. Instead of writing x for the function f of x, I'm gonna be writing 3x minus 2, which is coming from the g of x. So, let me change color para mas makita ni. Ano? So, 3x minus 2 and go back to the color that I want. Plus 4 na tayo. Ano? Simplify. That's how easy it is. Simplify. You can uh, distribute number 2 or the element 2 to the terms inside the parentheses. We have 6x minus 4 plus 4. Tama? And then simplifying this, you know, negative 4 plus 4 is just simply 0. So you have 6x. You're done. That's how you do composite function. Uh, what if atong interchange? So g of f of x. Ana. This is going to be different na guys. Kay ang atong isud nga term sa x kay coming from f of x naman. So it's a reverse. Whatever, what was, yun say makita nyo diha sa sud guys, is mauna ang gamita or mauna yung gamitin nga term nga imong i-replace sa function sa picas. So, what are the terms inside or within f of x? We have 2x plus 4. Ako ni siyang gamitun, guys, to replace the x in the g of x. So, may tabuan is g of f of x equals 3. Instead of writing x, I'm going to be writing these terms here from f of x. So, let me change color. 
2x plus 4. And that, no? And then don't forget, you're not going to some pi, which is minus 2. Okay, same thing. You distribute, you distribute the 3 to the terms inside the parentheses. We have 6x plus 12. Minus 2. Combine like terms, we have 6x plus 10. You're done. In another gig guys. I hope you learned something today. See ya next time.